Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Manchester United and we're absolutely tearing it up in the Premier League. But guys, this is episode 8. Now to start things off, we do have a training session with Anthony Martial. He picks up a D and 4 C. Superb. But guys, we are on the official... Uh, full release copy of FIFA 16. We're not on the early access anymore. So, I want to be obviously... The reason why I haven't been doing the training as much because I only had a limited amount of time and I think I've spoken about this enough. But we have the squad report here. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at your favourite player's stats. Morgan Schneiderlin is absolutely key in that centre defensive mid role pairing with Schnei uh, Schweinsteiger. Picked up a plus two. But guys... In today's episode, we have a match against Everton. We're going to Goodison Park. It should be an absolute cracker. Now, later on as well, we have a match against Celta Vigo. Um, no, we don't have a match against Celta Vigo. It's a Celtic. My mistake. So that's Celtic in the Champions League group stage. Now, I've made the decision to fully rotate my youth side and give them a chance. So you'll be seeing Anthony Martial up front. You'll be seeing Ander Herrera. Well, it's not really my youth team. It's a, it's, a, it's my second team, which is a combination of my youth team and um, obviously some first team players that just can't seem to get into the squad. Uh, squad very much, in, uh, very much daily blend. But we have some kit changes here. Now, I wanted to do this before, but like I said, I just didn't have time. So, David Hay will be number one. Matteo Damian will be number five. And Luke Shaw will be number three. Now, obviously, Adnan Genesai was given Ryan Giggs's number 11, but obviously coming back on loan, he has lost that. I've made the decision to give Marco Royce. He's in the first team. I think he should have the number 11. Now, obviously, Anthony Martial, before Lacazette was signed. He was the number nine striker, but Lacazette is playing in and out. I think he should be the number nine. So I do apologize if you disagree with some of the kit changes. Please don't get too hung up on it. But we're currently seven wins into the Premier League, one draw, and Liverpool are in dire straits. I can't believe that. Zero wins, four losses, and four draws. Imagine if Liverpool get relegated. That'd be a really cool career mode to actually play and bring them back uh, to the Premier League if they do, which they are in a relegation battle. But mind you, it is incredibly early days. We've only played eight games in the season. But I'm going to be hopefully training Anthony Martial for probably about a month, and then I'll probably switch to a play. He picked up an A, a D, and three Cs. So he's gone up to a 78 Overall, definitely a player for the future. I like our our French sort of vibe we've got going, but we have a match against Everton here. Chelsea are currently second, Newcastle are third, Leicester are fourth, and Sunderland are fifth. So a lot of I don't know teams that didn't make the top didn't made the top four last year aren't in there at the moment. But Ashley Young, I forgot as well, will be facing his former side today. We managed to sell him to Everton for fifteen million. The Toffees. Um, accepted that for some reason. But uh, we managed to bring in Yannick Bolassi, so hopefully he can perform here today. But guys, if you are enjoying this Manchester United career mode, please leave a like to support this series and my channel, and subscribe if you're new around here. Also, let me know in the comments. I know it's still a little bit away, but let me know in the comment section down below players you'd like me to sign in January. Hopefully we can get out of the Champions League group stage, so we'll probably get some funds from that and some of the cups. But I don't really know who to sign. Obviously, I signed Lacazette, Balassi, Royce, and Matt Hummels. So, we've actually splashed the cast from first-team players. So, I'm kind of thinking of some youth. I think Yuri Telelems would be absolutely superb up front. I think having him as a long-term replacement for Bastian Schweinsteiger, who is quite old, or even Wayne Rooney, who is 30 years of age as well. So, they will be retiring uh, for in this career mode, I'm going to be going until FIFA 17, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I did 10 seasons last year with Real Madrid and Manchester, so hopefully I can replicate the same. But let me know in the comments, where do you think I'll I'll finish in the league? We're doing absolutely fantastically with this squad. It's really gelling together. I'm really enjoying FIFA 16, so hopefully um, we can win the league, win the Champions League, and win the Cup this season. But as I'm saying this, we're absolutely getting dominated here by Everton. Naismith with the header hits the post. Incredibly unlucky there. And like I said, we're just getting dominated by Everton. I I, I love how, like, I, I try to... I'm always being hypocritical in my games. Absolutely. 
David De Gea, fuck me. He's kept us in this game. He's easily one of the best goalkeepers in career mode. I've never felt so confident with him up front, but we've got some ticky tacker football here. Marco Royce nearly falls over his feet, hits the crossbar, and claims the winner here today. Hopefully, with the new number 11, just before the 55th minute. Nice piece of play with, look at that back heel from Lacazette. It was, back, it was a back heel to Lacazette, then a 1 2 pass with Wayne Rooney and Lacazette, and then Royce manages to just get past Tim Howard there and hits the crossbar. I love how it just fucking slams straight down. But Marco Royce cutting back inside, and yeah, let me know who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer. He is absolutely on fire at the moment. It's either going to be him or Lacazette, maybe, or it could even be someone else. Duf from uh, Stoke City has been doing quite well in the league, but Ander Herrera, fresh off the bench, finds Marco Royce, Still trying to create something back to Ander Herrera, but Gareth Barry gets it clear. From the corner kick, Marco Royce whips it into Morgan Schneiderlin. And Ander Herrera still pushing, but Memphis Depay running down the wing. He cuts back inside, trying to make it 2-0 against Everton. He gets past another, and Ander Herrera, my God, missed an absolute sitter. I don't know why he hit it so hard. Obviously, it's the first touch and just... <laughs> Shocking. Should have just even hit it like a little bit of a P-roller. But Kone on the ball brings it back to Ever Everton's Naismith. Whips it in. And David De Gea with the save of the match. My God, he's definitely kept us in this match. I really do feel bad for Everton. But David De Gea, absolutely superb. But we managed to scrape a... Oh, no. We haven't quite won it yet. 32 yards out in the 90th minute. Memphis Depay... To score at this point, no more than a consolation goal. Hits the post. Absolutely a cracker shot. But uh, we do manage to scrape the victory here today against Everton. 1-0. Whether or not we deserve those three points or not, David De Gea was on par. I'd be surprised if he didn't pick up the man of the match. But, uh, yeah. Oh, it was actually a little bit more even on the stats. But David De Gea picks up the man of the match. And how many saves did he? S six saves. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. Everton had six shots, three on target. Obviously, we had more than them. We have another training session here with Anthony Martial. I decided to actually try the training sessions to see how I went. And obviously got C on the first one, but I got an F defending, which uh, isn't the best thing. So I think I'm just going to uh, stay to simulating. But we have a match here against Celtic in the um, Champions League. We're currently... 2-0 up on wins, and Celtic are just behind. Lacazette is currently the top goal scorer of the Champions League. Now, you might be wondering, why am I fully rotating the team? Well, I have a match against Manchester City on Saturday. We have this Champions League match midweek, so I want to fully res uh, rest the squad so then I can have a, a fighting fit team for the Manchester derby. So I am going with a 4-2-3-1. It's sort of a youth... Slash players who can't get into the first team. So we've got Martial up front, Ander Herrera, Balassian Adnan on the wing, on the uh, cams. Uh, we've got Fellaini and Daly Blind in the centre defence. I mean, we've got Paddy McNair on the right back, Luke Shaw and left back. Probably the only... We don't actually have a left back, so we might actually need to bring in another one in. The only player from the first team that will be playing here today. And if he is tired in the Manchester City match, simple. We'll just rotate him with Daly Blind. But we have Rojo and Smalling and then Victor Valdez in goal. So hopefully we're playing at Old Trafford. We'll have the home field advantage, obviously. We can beat Celtic here today, but obviously Celtic are a quality team from the north, Scotland. So they'll be bringing their hard, brutal football down to Manchester. Hopefully we can claim the three points here today and... Victor Valdez uh, plays all right. But Yannick Balassi on the ball finds Paddy McNair breaking down the wing for his Premier League debut. Whips it in. A little bit ambitious, but it was a decent ball. Adnan with the cutback. Still pushing. Gets taken down, arguably. Could, I don't know, be a penalty. But Paddy McNair trying to get it back here against Celtic. They whip it into the box. And Fellaini manages to get it clear. Daly Blind on the ball finds Anthony Martial. Back to Ander Herrera, and Ander Herrera up front has just been, uh, I don't know, a little bit shocking in this episode. Definitely should have put away the one against Everton. Should have had a sh better shot there, but Armstrong on the ball 
manages to whip it into another Celtic player, and Chris Smalling gets the deflection straight to the hands of Victor Valdez. But there weren't many chances in this match. We couldn't create anything, and neither could uh, Celtic, so I'm happy with the nil-nil draw. Continuity-wise, not really. We managed to get two shots to one on target, and Celtic got zero shots, but they had 54% of the possession and 11 tackles, so they absolutely broke us down. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Instagram, all the links in the description below. Stay tuned for more content on my channel. Let me know who you want me to sign in January. Definitely thinking Yuri Telelem.